became a resident childcare officer because I want to make a difference for young people. Um, after volunteering for a youth organisation, I met two or three children in care and it really just sparked a passion for what they were feeling. Sometimes you, you know a change you want to see, but you can't be out there to make that change. You need to be in there to make that change. So we'll come in and uh, have a handover with the staff and talk about the um, previous um, shift and then we'll decide what we're going to do with the children, what they would want to do as well. Uh, a typical day is meeting the needs of our young people, anywhere from helping them tidy the bedroom, emotional support and um, encouraging them with their independence. Um, obviously there's the recording side we do and the paperwork and just their general well-being. I work with children with disabilities and uh, I, I really love working with them, it's very rewarding uh, and no days the same. It's lovely, you come in the morning, get the kids ready for school, while they are in school, make sure their environment is nice, tidy, clean, ready for, ready for them to come back into a clean home, get their food all ready, take them on activities, and while you're doing activities with them, you're actually also supporting your own self to go on a lot of work, calories burning. So for me, one of the good jobs, I would encourage people to give it a shot. So I'm Kelly Wade and I'm a residential children's home manager. Um, I started my career in residential at 21 um, and I've worked through the ranks to be a senior care officer, and then two years ago, I got the opportunity to become a manager. Um, and I've been, I completely love the job. So having spoken to all my own people, they ask for somebody that's nice, um, somebody that's gonna spend time with them, um, generally a good person and sassy like them.